Welcome to PHP Pot. Adding Google Recaptcha verification in an application will be useful for detecting malicious attempts by bots. This service checks and ensures that the interaction made on a web page is 100% done by a human user. There are various libraries available to add this CAPTCHA feature in a web page. Among them, the Google Recaptcha is the most popular service and scores better in the aspect of consistency. In this video, we are going to see the code for rendering the Google Invisible Recapture widget by invoking the API service programmatically. This is the index.php file that contains the HTML form where the capture widget is to be rendered. This form contains a div container with required HTML5 data attributes to bind the Google Recapture challenge. In this page the API JavaScript is imported by setting the onload callback. On this page load this callback will be executed to invoke the recaptcha service. On binding the recaptcha challenge with the target div element, the callback function specified in the div's data attribute will be executed. While binding, a response token will be returned, and the callback function specified in the div is executed to set to hidden field. This token will later be posted to the PHP code on form submit. On submitting the form, the username and the email fields are validated in the client side. On successful validation, the form data is posted to the PHP. This is the PHP code that validates the Google Recapture response token before processing the form data. If the validation is successful, then the PHP code will create the success message. Otherwise, it will show the negative acknowledgement to the user with an error message. Now, let's see the output by running this code in the browser. Here, the Google Invisible Recapture is bound within div element. When we submit the form with empty fields, the error message is displayed near the form label. On successful form submit, we can see the server response. After validating the recapture response token, my name is Vinci. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. If you are looking to build fantastic applications, I welcome you to subscribe the PHP Pod channel.